The difference between a younger man's and an older man's approach to fitness number two, volume of training and wear and tear. When it comes to fitness, age plays a significant role in shaping priorities and approaches. Younger men and older men often have different motivations, methods, and mindsets when it comes to working out. Here's how these differences manifest in various aspects of fitness. Younger men often adhere to the belief that more is better when it comes to working out. The idea of overtraining or overdoing it rarely crosses their minds as they feel invincible and are willing to push their bodies to the limits in the pursuit of gains. However, this approach can lead to long-term consequence that they might not fully appreciate until they are older. In contrast, wise older men understand that excessive training volume can contribute to a host of issues such as back pain, shoulder pain, knee pain, and other joint problems. With experience comes the knowledge that it's not just about how much you train, but how smart you train. Older men know the importance of balancing intensity with recovery, avoiding unnecessary wear and tear, and listening to their bodies to prevent injuries that could sideline them. Workouts for older men live with a sense of urgency. We have to, when we're a little older, we have more time behind us than we do in front of us. Get my audiobook today, Age Optimization System, Five Shifts to Build More Muscle, Lose More Body Fat for Optimal Health, Fitness, and Longevity. You'll gain invaluable insights into the five most common mistakes that sabotage men's fitness efforts. These are the critical missteps uh, I've identified through coaching hundreds of men one-on-one. -on -one. Without understanding these, many continue to struggle.